Manifesto writing. What are my most important core beliefs? First off, the most important thing in life is to enjoy it and not take it for granted. It's like what computer science professor Randy Posh said before his death in 2008. We don't beat the reaper by living longer. We beat the reaper by living well and living fully. For the reaper will come for all of us. The question is, what do we do between the time we are born and the time he shows up? So one of my strongest core beliefs is to treat everyone with respect and kindness. Don't get mad over the guy who cut you off in the parking lot. Life's too short for stuff like that. It makes you wonder if stuff like that really matters. People are good and bad. For example, Steve Irwin. One of my favorite childhood shows is his. He was a wildlife expert until his tragic death. In 2006, he was a very good person. He taught the world about the most deadliest creatures and about nature. And he will always have a place in my heart. Now for the bad. Although a bit cliche, I think you will agree regardless that Hitler, arguably the worst person to ever live, he, he not only killed six million innocent people, he did horrible experiments on his war camp prisoners. There are good and bad people, but what determines on what makes someone good or bad is their actions on how and how it affects society and the people around them. Where did you acquire these beliefs? I did not acquire these beliefs from someone, nor did I create them. I guess you could say I came to them. I came to these beliefs through logic and reasoning, through researching the actions of others in the past to observing others in the news today. I have come to my moral standpoint by which saying, if I do this, does it have a negative effect on society? If it does, yes. If it does not, then no. It is not wrong. If I, if I stole from someone and did so unnoticed, yes, I may get away with it. And it may not affect the individual. But by doing so, it makes stealing seem socially acceptable, which by that point, everyone would be stealing. And that would have a negative effect on society. When you kill someone, that is wrong. No terrible. Now I did not acquire these beliefs from someone or a book, but when you kill an animal, humans being animals, you stop their brain activity. The way we understand the world and respond to it through signals in our brains. When you kill an un you, when you kill someone, you stop that. Everything they ever knew, everything they ever loved, everything they ever experienced is gone forever. Which would not have happened if not because of you. This holds a negative effect on that individual, so yes, it is wrong. People should treat each other with respect and kindness. They should treat each other in a way someone's actions hold positive effects on society. This is the only way society can progress. This is the only way individuals can coexist. It's, I guess you could say it's the only way society can be society. What you do as an individual has positive and negative effects on other individuals, which in turn decides how we work together as a community. The most important thing for people to do in their lives is not my place to tell them. It's not my place to instruct people on how they live their lives. However, that being said, I will recommend this off my personal belief system. I think people should stop worrying about small things, stop taking life for granted. We are all guilty of this. I admit it. I am. We need to admit our follies and move forward. Stop worrying about the end and enjoy the here and now. Exchange worry about death for present action. When you have an infinite amount of anything, including life, it diminishes its value. We are special because we are rare, like a flower. Our life is beautiful. We are special. We are born. We grow and die. And you do, and you should enjoy the time you have now, because death will come for all of us. But what will you have to show for it when the reaper shows up at your door? A life of experience and a life lived well, or one that was spent worrying about the end, concerned about small things, like not getting to wear your favorite t-shirt. Honestly, I don't think everyone would live this lifestyle, but if they did, Honestly, do not foresee any flaws. Everyone would be taking actions for the best interest of the community and how it is affected in positive ways. People would not be taking life for granted near as much and would be working to fix that problem. We would progress as a species because of the want to better society. 
I believe that science and mathematics would flourish more than ever because I believe people would want to make their own lives as successful as possible. To define the two would be this, if we focus on what positively affects society and, and its best interests, we will progress and move forward. To not do this, we create conflict between each other. And society cannot move forward unless they learn to work together. Thank you guys for watching. This is a manifesto writing I wrote for English class, and I hope you enjoyed.